All right, so we should probably move into mounted combat. I don't know how yes. long before we're interrupted again. I feel like, gosh, there's so many things I wanted to talk about on here. But yes, um, so the mounted combat, let's see. Uh, sorry, I need to scroll up, find it again. Or down, I went the wrong way. Way down. Oh, are you looking for it on the... Um... Yeah, I'm trying to read along with you. Mounted combat, here we go. go. All right. So it says, certain mounts will have combat abilities. Players can't use their class skills while mounted. So I read that and I got sad. <laughs> yeah, that's um, I understand is... some some class skills, but I feel like I hope <laughs> they change it. So like, for example, I am entirely in love with the idea of being a mounted ranger. It just makes sense. <laughs> But see, that's so, the thing, is that you won't be able to use, like, your combat skills, but you're still going to be able to, like, shoot off your bow and stuff like that. Like, you're still going to be able to attack. Right, you can still that. you can still attack, but it would be cool if the, some of your skill, skills, like, for example, that flaming arrow one, where you make the line of fire, you can cast that and then be able to kind of, like, r pivot your mount and ride it so things that are aggroed on you run through the fire, you know? Like, yeah, but I, I like, think for balancing reasons, really too... Cool. Like, uh, for balancing reasons, too, like, I don't think they want you to be a god on a mount that can just, like, run off. I mean, it, I mean, I, I wonder if there will be some to... But I think it would be, it would be equal, though, because everybody would have some skills they can't use and some skills they yeah. can on their mount, is I'm what sure I'm that, getting at. I'm sure there'll also be something that will be tested, too, because they, they are opened up to, like, some type and of land And on top of that, abilities. people can kill your mount while you're riding it, and you can get crowd-controlled, you can get knocked off, like, there's... Which we'll get into when I read this longer, but I think... I hope that they reconsider at least having some of your skills be able to be used while mounted. I know, I don't know if anybody's ever straddle. played um, Sacred 3, but Sacred 3, it didn't really have, like, I wouldn't say it was really good mounted combat, but there was some of your abilities that you could cast while you were mounted, which was fun. <laughs> so, um, let's see. Um, a quote from Steven, he says, Mounts will have a variety of effective PvP abilities, some viable in larger scale encounters when organized correctly. And then it says, Mounts will have combat skills based on breed and rarity. There will also be some RNG to the mount skills, um, which includes charging through opponents to knock them down. Abilities to create a lance while mounted have been discussed as a potential design idea. Uh, I really hope they add that because I would cool. love to be able to do jousting. And I think that goes back to the idea we threw out there last um, podcast where we were talking about like the mayor being able to use tax dollars to like host festivals. tournaments or festivals. Oh, yeah. Having really jousting cool. there just they, makes sense. Yeah, host a jousting competition. Jousting tournaments and stuff like that. So great. But even and like then, even allowing players to create their own like type of like system of, of allowing some type of like you know out in the world of like all right this let's you know let's settle this this yeah, way let's settle this well that's cool too because if they added like jousting that just gives you another thing to try and breed mounts to be suitable for really heavily armored so and very fast that, yeah give you more of that competitive edge <laughs> like they're harder to be staggered you, like things that, like that honestly they really should open that up because you could have like these prize stables where you know you're, you're breeding for who can make the fastest whatever for what, or whatever translates into that system but like you right could, <laughs> like it just if uh, the possibilities of what this game could have is just um, and then back to the ground mounts. Specific weapon systems may exist on different riding points on ground mounts. I really want to know more about ground mounts. So hopefully they touch back on that again in the future because I don't have that much information right now. Um, so then we have some crowd control abilities can dismount a mounted player. In that case, the mount would persist with its own health pool and other stats. Um, Quote from Steven, there is a danger to traversing areas with enemies nearby, and there are specific abilities that knock a rider off of their mount should they venture too close to enemies. And then it goes on to say, mounts can be killed by players, but can be resurrected after a certain cooldown period. Um, potions obtained from the alchemy profession can be used to reduce the cooldown. Mounts that die a certain number of times with a set period or within a set period might gain a debuff that requires a different material component to assist with their resurrection. Um, and then I'm actually kind of excited about this one. Um, fall damage that occurs while mounted will 
be first applied to the mount, and if the mount dies as a result, then the remaining damage will overflow onto the player, but this will be determined based on testing. Um, let's see. And then, mounts can be targeted separately from the player while mounted. If a player dies, there will be a period of time before their mule despawns. Other players must kill that player's mule to be able to loot it. If a player's mule dies, its corpse will contain the same percentage of lootable items as the player. So that's all they have on mounted combat right now. Um, I definitely would like to see mounted combat be fleshed out more and made more robust so I can have that mounted ranger. <laughs> uh, I think that'd be so um, cool. I like, I, I really like the idea of having some type of mounted combat. This feels really good. I mean, if they... So I, I do see how like having all of your stats and stuff would like kind of be a mess. But I could, or all your skills rather. Um, well, and like some of them, like for example, the jump back one for the ranger, that wouldn't make sense if you're bounded, right. unless you're jumping off of your your mount. But um, like there is some more like acrobatic skills that I would see. Like for example, when they go to uh, the animation, I'm thinking of when they go to, I think it's the mage when they go to throw the fireball. Like they have to like jump up and huck it. Yeah. And so like because it takes that much exertion, like maybe that's not one that they can do if they're sitting on a map. Right. It would be nice if they, they do can't, open like, that you know? Ones that will work and ones that won't work. Right. So I'm hoping they don't um, kind of just flat out all, all combat abilities are a no on mounted combat. But um, I think it would be cool if they had at least like two or three, maybe four that you could use while still mounted that were at least still decent abilities like like i mentioned the flaming arrow and stuff so you could kind of have those those tactical advantages of like making that wall of fire and then using your mount to kind of run around it and run things through it and things like that like it'd be really fun definitely agree with you like especially it's been because in code and exiles we can also do like the mounted combat like you're like a god on the saddle like <laughs> compared to me like I suck at it. So I, that's like the thing too. Like I probably wouldn't use it all that much, but I know like that'd be something that you'd be really interested in. And I'd definitely like, it'd be really fun of, I don't know, even, even like just, I'm thinking of like when you're out in the world or something and you're playing with friends and then you just, you know, you kind of set up like an ambush where like you kind of send a couple people out, makes it look like they're, they don't have that with them. And then all of a sudden, like over the hill, you have like all these mounted people with yeah, you've got your mounted range or you got someone with like a lance and just completely yeah. fuck everybody up. <laughs> That'd be so good. Um, also, I love my um, like cosmetics as far as outfits goes. So I would love to be able to have my character dressed to match my mount. So it's just like one, you know, I don't know the word I'm trying to use, but you know what I mean? Like where it's just like a cohesive, yeah, cohesive look between look. me and my yeah. mount. Yeah. <laughs> um, because we, we fight as one in R1. <laughs> we will R1 of nice. mounted archers running through the map. I know, that'd be so cool. Yeah, if we're going to have pirate ships, like, let's have mounted armies. <laughs> <laughs> I know, like... Also, like, that's one of those realistic elements, too, is, like... Yeah, I mean, you, you could have, like... The, I mean, there was cavalry and stuff give, like that, too. It would give more reason for people to use pole arms. Yep. Yeah, because I can see that, like, trying to have that everybody up and everything. And try to, yeah, like you know aim at the horse trip or stagger the horse like knock the player off like it just adds so much more <laughs> to to the game in a nice realistic way um i'm gonna because screen when first. cavalry armies became a thing way back you know forever and ever ago like that was a huge huge um, advantage that those armies had and they had to find a way to counter it so i want to know what everybody in the chat what your opinion on the mounted combat is yeah, I'm curious too of, of uh, what yeah. the, what Honestly, the player I, like. I that. love I love hearing everybody's opinions. Like we're we're up here spewing our opinions, and <laughs> you want um, we want to hear yours too. That's that's the thing too is I, I think you would have a, a good majority just because there's a lot of people who are going to be mounted. And I said, like I said, if you do find a way to kind of balance that out, if you don't have all of your abilities, you don't have like 
you know, like you're maybe even for a tank, like you're not going to have your damage mitigation because like you can put your shield up, but it's not going to protect your horse. So those type of things. So I think it would be really cool to have like those different things uh, available and just having those different play styles, because even like games where like I can be mounted, do mounted combat, I still prefer to be on the ground. It's just for my play style. And it doesn't really it's never really hindered me in, in that way, because we've killed bosses like role bosses in one of the games that we have. Yeah, and um, like I, I've still been on the ground kind of tanking. And like, I just, I personally do not, I don't know, as someone who says that you're not very good with like navigating the keyboard, you definitely have no problem doing the mounted combat. <laughs> I'll be like mashing buttons and think I'm hitting like the number one and I look down <laughs> and I'm hitting A and I'm like, oh, that's why I'm like turning to the left. <laughs> like, like, like I'm having a stroke. 